Washington, Reuters, the U.S. Commerce Department said on Tuesday it had made a final determination that imports of aluminum foil from China are being sold in the United States at less than their fair value and producers are benefiting from subsidies from Beijing. It said in a statement that anti-dumping and countervailing duties would be levied on a number of Chinese firms, with dumping margins ranging from 48.64% to 106.09% and anti-subsidy rates of 17.14% to 80.97%. A Euro or Ethys administration is committed to trade that is fair and reciprocal, and we will not allow American workers and businesses to be harmed by unfair imports a euro the statement quoted Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross as saying. China has expressed a euro a strong dissatisfaction a euro with the step and will take necessary measures to protect its legal rights and interests in the matter, the country a euro trademark s Ministry of Commerce, MOVCOM, said in a statement. A Euro or F US has disregarded the WTO rules and seriously damaged the interests of China Euro trademark S aluminum foil exporters A Euro Wang Hejun, the head of Movcoma Euro trademark S Trade Remedy and Investigation Bureau, said in the statement. The US Commerce Department has made the wrong decision in levying high duties A Euro without any evidence A Euro and has A Euro unreasonably and excessively A Euro adopted trade remedy measures, Wang said. The duties, which would take effect for five years, remain subject to a finding of injury to U.S. producers by the International Trade Commission, ITC, which is due to announce its decision by March 15. Amid mounting trade friction with China, U.S. President Donald Trump is due to decide soon whether to impose much broader duties on steel and aluminum imports under a national security investigation. Three of Trump a Euro trademark s top economic aides are expected meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping a Euro trademark s top economic advisor, Liu He, the week, the White House said on Tuesday. China Euro trademark s foreign ministry said on Monday the aide would discuss a Euro or can a U dot s relations and the two countries a Euro trademark economic and trade cooperation a Euro. The Commerce Department said the foil case. The first the U.S. aluminum industry has brought against China Euro trademark S aluminum sector, would have no bearing on the A Euro E section 232 A Euro report on aluminum that is under consideration by Trump. In 2016, imports of aluminum foil from China were valued at an estimated $389 million, Commerce Department figures show. Foil Producers Last month a group of U.S. aluminum foil producers told the ITC their industry had been devastated by Chinese imports and needed anti-dumping duties to survive and invest. A Euro or Eth Aluminum Association and its foil producing members are extremely pleased with the Commerce Department A Euro Trademark S final determinations A Euro the group A Euro Trademark S President, Heidi Brock, said in the statement. A Euro OEU.S Aluminum foil producers are among the most competitive producers in the world, but they cannot compete against products that are sold at unfairly low prices and subsidized by the government of China A Euro Brock said. The Commerce Department said anti-dumping margins will be set at 48.64% for Jiangsu Zongji Lamination Material Stock COLTD, at 106.09% for Hangzhou Dingsheng Import and Export COLTD and related companies. 89.54% for 14 other companies and 106.09% for the rest of producers in China. Countervailing duty margins will be 17.14% for Jiangsu Zongji, 19.98% for Ding Shen, 80.97% for Lofton Aluminum, Hong Kong, Limited, Mannequin Industries LLC and Suzhou Mannequin Aluminum Processing Technology COLTD, and 18.56% for all other producers in China, it said.